Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Just It While I am playing Terraria again. <laughs> Terraria modded. I haven't played this in I definitely say a year. I, I tried to start off this playthrough, which will be the Bart class playthrough from Tor from Thorium, by the way. Um, I tried to start off this playthrough a year ago, but then I noticed like, hmm, this isn't really like this isn't it. Like I I wasn't feeling it that much. Well, right now when we're a year later, when I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm in the mood to play some Terraria again. Well, yeah, there you go. here I am. I've also decided to change this playthrough a little bit. Before I was very unorganized in a certain way where I start off an episode and I just saw what I managed to do and that's it. <laughs> Didn't do anything else. So, first and foremost, I'm gonna show off uh, the mods that I have installed. So, in this particular playthrough, since I'm gonna be using a Thorium only class, I'm not gonna be running around with the other mods because the barge weapons are, when it comes to damage, are not gonna be able to... Like, I'm gonna lose my shit if I wanna... <laughs> If I want to do that. So the things that I do have, however, are Fargo Souls mod, because that is what this entire playthrough is based on. Quality of life recipes for quality of life. Prefix for enemies, because it's funny as hell. Uh, yet another boss health bar for reasons that you can already know. I'm K Sushi for more easy recipes. Uh, lottery just for easy money, when, just because money grinding can be very annoying. Max stack plus, so I don't have to deal with, max, like, with the maximum amount of things that I can have in a stack. Uh, more accessories plus, just have another accessory slot later on in the game. Uh, weapon out to show the weapons that I'm carrying for aesthetic purposes. Vein miner because it's ridiculously handy. Wing slot because I don't want to deal with having to sacrifice an accessory slot for that. Uh, magic storage because of... Well, yeah, it's the best way to have storage. Louis AFK also makes my life easier. Uh, Begone evil which disables biome. Evil biome spread which is always handy because I find it ridiculously annoying to deal with. Uh, which mod is this from? Well, yeah, which mod is this from? <laughs> uh, boss checklist, which is handy for me to figure out which boss I've defeated. Elements work I'm not going to be doing in this playthrough. Uh, cheat sheet for when I need to cheat certain things in that won't spawn, so which has happened before, or that I just can't obtain or f cannot find any information about. Uh, recipe browser for reasons. Um, <laughs> for very uh, understandable reasons. Fargo's mutant mod, which is the base Fargo's mod. Um... Thoria mod, because, duh. I'm not going to be doing ju uh, Juice, and I'm also not going to be doing Shadows of Abaddon. Then I have Die Hard and Shader Library to get the character that I'm playing as. Uh, like, to get the look for the character that I'm playing as. Also, more interesting dice can be fun to make more different characters, or like, just a different looking character in general. The other thing I have over here is Alchemist NPC Light, instead of normal alchemy, uh, Alchemist NPC. Reason being is because the normal... Uh, Al oh my god. Alchemist NPC can be very annoying at the end game when I need to make certain weapons or do certain things. I don't like it that much. The character I'm going to be playing as, however, is Lewin. I should normally already have... Actually, no, wait. I'm going to be showing off the intro right now. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, this... Once again, I have no idea why I'm doing this, but for some kind of reason I have a habit of... Um, starting off the playthrough in... In the night. Which is an issue, because I have no way to defend myself... For the time being, so I'll just have to... Oh. Oh no, it's, it just becomes day. Freaking praise the lord, man. That would have sucked so much. Uh, let me go and get more wood. Because I need myself more wood. Yes. Uh, this thing... Phew, might as well wear it for no reason whatsoever. Okay. Uh, where is my flute? Or my whistle? There we go. First bard weapon. Now, what is that? Uh, plus 5% maximum resource. I have no idea what that means. Can I... Can I... Can I please hit you? Also, I think I need to zoom in a little bit. <laughs> that was pretty zoomed out for... Building 
some stuff off camera. <laughs> Welcome to Terraria gameplay where I'm whistling slimes to death. The frequency of my whistles make it so that the slimes explode. Oh yeah, right, the sound changes depending on which direction I point my weapon at. So I can have this. <laughs> That's it, can you? Okay, let me go and... Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> That's an amazing sound. It's gonna be my favorite thing to do in this playthrough, I think. That is just the... The whistle. Let me also go and increase my UI for a bit. This is a lot more my style. Um, so I need to find a place to build. I need to find a place to build and then probably go mining and see what I can find. Yeah, sure. I, I have an idea about where I'm going to build my stuff. I just have no idea if it's going to be a good idea. Um, let me go make some platforms. But like I said, this is the first time that I've played Terraria in a while, so... It's going to be very weird for me to play this game, first and foremost. And second of all, commentary is very interesting lately. For me, in any case. So, I have also no idea how good or bad it's going to be, but I'm not going to focus too much on it, because... Then it only becomes worse. Uh, I think it was this button that... Yeah. That I have assigned to vein mine. Definitely one of, if not the best mod out there. Is that iron ore or just stone? Okay. Just blacky stone. <laughs> I love this whistle. <laughs> I already love the whistle. I also really like the fact that the sound just changes. Also, if you're wondering, this entire class... Oh yeah, also, uh, this is the first time I'm playing on expert mode. I'm gonna continue to play on expert mode, by the way. From this point onward. Just because I want to suffer. Um... What was I talking about again? Oh yeah, right, the Bard class. When it comes to the Bard class itself, it's kind of a... It's kind of a... How do you say it? It's a mod... Oh, I'm sorry, mod. Yeah, I should know. A class that you should normally use with other people. It's a, it's a class that gives buffs to other people and it also becomes stronger when working together with other people. Now, you might be thinking like, hey, why don't you do like a co-op playthrough with Cube or whatever? Because co-op playthroughs with cube especially online are very difficult to manage and terraria is a thing that or just anything in general i don't want to wait like sometimes weeks on end to to play again i don't want to deal with that shit it is so annoying to deal with because after a while i just get out of the groove of playing terraria for instance or another game and i'm like Ugh, no i don't want to <laughs> i don't really feel like um feel like continuing to play this game or continuing doing, to do this let's play because I'm just totally out of... Like, my interest for Terraria has just disappeared. There's a desert over here. I was thinking about making my base in the desert. Because... I know that there's some bad, like some annoying things with it with the sandstorm and all the jazz. But we'll just have to see how that's gonna go. Can I please fell this tree before the slime comes here? Nope. Also, this is... Hmm... Well, I guess I'm gonna be here for a little bit. As you can see, like, the whenever I use this particular instrument, I get a certain buff. And this is gonna be the same for, I think, every single music instrument has, like, a different buff that it gives you. Or something of the sort. Right now I have max, like, plus, plus five resource or whatever. I have no idea what that means. You can also see it in the left corner. The little music thing. Oh my god. Wait, am I still in god mode? I think I am. Whoopsie. Let me go in and uh, disable with cut mode, sorry. So now I can actually take damage. <laughs> well, it's not like I got hit before anyway, so... Oh, there we go. Look at the raw damage I'm taking. Ah, fuck. It's a splitting one, right? Oh, okay. I thought I saw a prefix with splitting on it. Please, give me the wood and let's get the fuck out of here. Uh, let me go and cave myself in for a moment. Oh wow, a gold bunny. Funny game. Very funny. Guess I'm not going to be getting that one then. Um, how much gel do I have? I think I'm going to just take a couple of those. Do, 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 do. I think I did it a different way though. I thought I changed something about the way that I... I think it was something like this. Instead of having the weapon. So that all the weapons are like close to each other. 
Max plus five percent maximum resource. Resource maximum one. I have no idea what that means. Uh, one of sparking. Eh. Could be useful to a degree, I suppose. Uh, I think I'm gonna go and eat some tin though. So it might be some. It might be some idea. Wow, no, might be a good idea to do that. Also, I need to change another control thing. This is the first time I've been playing uh, this game on um, on this PC, or like on my gaming PC, <laughs> instead of on my laptop, so... Yeah, I also had to reconfigure all of the controls, which was... Well... It was interesting figuring out what the hell it used to be. <laughs> also with all the mods and all the jazz and having to install Terraria on this. Well, Terraria, actually Terraria was an issue. For some kind of reason, my PC had a lot of issues installing Terraria. And then the mod loader, of course. It's really handy that they now finally have like a Steam app or like a Steam thing that you can just launch instead of having to configure and do all these things yourself. I don't have too many issues with it because I was used to how it worked. But when you're new to it, I think that's just a thing in general when it comes to modding. If you're new to modding, it is ridiculously confusing. Sometimes in a case, depending on what you have to install. Okay, another <laughs> another weapon that I don't need. A strong blowpipe. Oh my goodness! There's a house down there. I need to go and check that out. <laughs> okay, uh... I'm also not going to be focusing too much on the story shenanigans that I was trying to do in the other playthroughs. It's still going to be there though, there still is a story, but it's just not going to be as prominent. There is so much stuff in here and I love it. <laughs> I've also already seen how this world looks by the way. That's something that I just do before I choose a world to go into. Actually, <laughs> hmm. I took a look at it after I built a monument, so I didn't have any choice af after a while because the monument was already built and I was not in the mood for rebuilding it. But this world is pretty dang shitty. There's corruption on both sides, uh, I think in any case. Yeah, there's corruption on both sides and on one of the sides there's actually a double corruption with a tiny jungle in the middle. So this is literally the worst type of world that I could have gotten. But at least... Actually, no way. There's not. There's not not much positive to say about it. <laughs> I was thinking about saying like, at least I have a um, what was it again? I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> God damn it. Well, I was gonna say something. I'm not sure how useful it would have been, but I was about to say something. Doesn't matter too much. I tend to forget a lot of stuff. Or like I just, I'm a weird guy. My brain works in mysterious ways. Sometimes everything goes super fluidly, and other times I just forget everything and don't know how to speak all of a sudden, and all of that jazz. Another thing that I do know that I'm gonna need is cobwebs, because I need to go make cloth, which will then make it so that I can make my first bard armor, and also more weapons, I think. Uh, let's see, how long is the episode? It's 14 minutes right now. Is that a black slime? Oh no, it's a green slime. What? That was weird. Also, playing this game on this monitor is also very weird. Well, I played it on the same monitor though, but it looks different. It looks more bright. The brightness is higher than before. I wonder how bright my TV is actually. <laughs> I haven't really decided to take a look at that setting in a very long time. I remember having to change it at a certain point, but... I guess I'll figure that stuff out off camera. Whoopsie, that's the wrong button. There's that button. All right, let's see. It's a golden chest also. And cobweb, of course, which is just what I needed. I'm going to grab the stuff. Uh, let me go and... One, and two, and... Veymine. Oh, oh my god. Yes. Police. That's amazing. Let me go and close this door, because I don't want to deal with the... With the freaking slimes coming after me. 
I love Vein Miner so much. It makes the early game so easy. Or like, yeah, actually, yeah. It just makes the early game so much more enjoyable. Also, I'm going to go and take some furniture, I think. I was thinking about maybe taking the other door, but then I have to do with the slime, which I... Actually, wait. I have, I have an idea for this. <laughs> Look at my excellent idea. Where's my dirt? My dirt. There we go. And thank you. Let us continue to descend. But I don't really think there's going to be anything else. Oh my god, another gold chest. Uh, yes, people, I looked at this world before. It's a really good one. Right. Uh, a loom. Do I need a loom to make the cloth? Doo -doo -doo. Where is the cloth? Or the oh yeah right the cobweb goes into the into the ammo shenanigans for god knows what reason it's just a workbench okay cool uh, let me go and take this door it would be nice if I could actually defeat an ant lion though because getting some ant lion mandibles would make it so that I can get another bard weapon I've also decided to do a little bit more research about what weapons I can make the thing is the bard class has like such a limited palette, or palette, or how do you even say it, of weapons, or collection of weapons, that it's very easy for me to like memorize a couple of things. While when you look at stuff like the ranger or mage or just any of the basic four classes of Terraria, then you start running into a lot of stuff that you have to keep in mind, which I am not particularly in the mood for doing. Ah, oh, fuck! I'll, I'll go down here for a moment. I do feel like... Wait, did I even get that chest? I don't think I did. Oh boy. I didn't even get the chest. Okay, that's a one shot. Welcome to expert mode. <laughs> Not particularly used to expert mode, if you're wondering. My flailing, huh? How dare you? Okay then. Uh, it's almost night though. What am I gonna be doing? I'm not sure about where I'm gonna be building my base. <gasps> I was thinking about maybe over here. With like an extension into the desert a little bit. I guess I can make a little bit of a cave down there. <laughs> the same thing as I did with uh, the original playthrough, which was <laughs> I just made a cave over here. Like just a little Cubby hole. Uh, I was really, I actually really thinking about. Ah, uh, this mountain is really annoying though, because I have to go up there every single time. I guess I can build something against this to make it so that I would have an easier time getting over this mountain. I'm definitely gonna be making some platforms though, so I can run over this mountain without too many issues. So let me go and do it like this. So I don't have to go down there every single time. <laughs> I definitely need more than that. Come on, there we go. A little bit more. Just a little more. There we go. Okay, let me go and put some... Some torches down there, yes. So I can bloody see. In the beginning, I'm definitely going to be making a very basic house, I'd say. It's only after a while, after I've got like more of mobility and all that jazz, then I start actually making houses. <laughs> or like trying to make some stuff that looks decent. Um, I guess for the time being, I'm just going to make a little house in... Actually, no, wait. If I make a house in there, I'm going to have to deal with those blocks, which I <laughs> don't want to deal with. I guess I can make it up here, though. Just make a little bit of a sky building for the moment. Sure. It's gonna look ugly as all hell, but who fucking cares? <laughs> I just need a house to be my base. I guess I can make it longer, though. <laughs> Question mark. Nah, crap. Okay, uh, let me go and jump on the roof. <laughs> well, I would say that. 
If I could actually do it. Wait, I can... No, oh, okay. Let me go make it longer. Because I need myself, myself more space. There we go. Let me go and plug down the doors that I have. Oh boy, boy, boy. Okay. <laughs> I started thinking. I saw the eye coming. I was like, oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Also, I don't need that. Well, mm, yeah, fuck it. I'm not gonna. I only need this crafting bench to be over here. Because uh, it also counts as a table, which is enough to make NPCs like you or like your building. Let me go and throw some basic wooden walls in the background. <laughs> All this basic shit! Oh wow. Ooh, I need stars though. I should probably go and grab those. Well, like those. <laughs> that one star that fell down. Might be a pretty good idea. Gotta make more walls. There we go. I'm gonna plug down some torches. And here we are. Um, I want that star, but at the same time, two demonites. You know, fuck it. Nothing's ever gained by uh, running away, question mark. Ah, except my life, maybe. Mm -hmm. See ya. <laughs> Casually running away. I have an idea about what I'm going to do with this over here. Just to make it look nicer. Uh, let me go and put down two torches on the outside also. There we go. I'm going to go make myself a wooden hammer. A strong wooden hammer. Mm. Oh my goodness, yes. Okay, uh, I have eight chests already. <laughs> wow. That's pretty glorious. There we go. For the time being, I'm just going to be dumping everything in here. Methinks. Uh, I'm going to need lesser healing potions. Anything else that I would need? My copper axe. Eunuch can go in here. Um, I think that the guide is fighting something. Uh, my money. My grand total of 8 silver. Okay. Uh, I guess that's it for the moment. Oh no, wait. Uh, before we end of this episode, I do want to make myself the basic uh, Bart uh, armor. Now, when the next episode begins, I'm gonna go and deal with uh, like we're just finding more weapons in general. Let's see. Do I have enough? I don't think so, though. No. <laughs> Shit. Um, well, I think I'll go in enough over here then. So, uh, I have, hey, I do have a grand total of three defense. Uh, inspiration regeneration by 4%, and also more inspiration regeneration. Time to be sweeping the nation. Also, um, no, that's not over here. No, I'll go and take a look at that off camera. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of this episode. I was playing a Terraria modded Bart playthrough. In the next episode, we're going to go and look for more weapons, more materials, just going to be exploring in general. And also kind of praying, because I'm not used to dealing with expert mode. Especially with the Bart class. <laughs> Goodbye.